Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Brian and this is an old man in the woods and yeah it's been a long time. It's been a really long time and I apologize but not much I can do about it. I've had some work issues over the past year. I've had some other issues that you can see. Health is fine, don't worry about that. And uh, the job situation has turned around a little bit, so I'll hopefully be able to get out a little bit more this year. Although I'll be 72 in January, and uh, got to admit it's getting more difficult. Anyway, what I wanted to talk about, I'm down here in California for the holidays, visiting my mother, my brother, and sisters, and all the family and stuff. And we were sitting around the dinner table the other night. And uh, I don't know how it came around, but we got to talking about removing porcupine quills from your pets, dogs. In this case, we were talking about a dog. And there's a tip that, oh, I guess he was an uncle. I don't know. I was just a kid at the time, but I never forgot it. A tip that he he told us about removing the porcupine quills and I don't have any porcupine quills on me but I do have had well I can do, use this pen to give you an idea porcupine quill if you look at it real closely all right and speaking of getting closely imagine come on focus Okay, imagine this pen is a porcupine quill. Forget about this part here, back here. But this here, just like fish hook, a porcupine quill has a barb on the end of it. And that's the part that goes into the animal. Now, when that goes into the animal, obviously that barb is sticking up, right? But if you cut the end of the porcupine quill, this thing is full of air. When you cut it, it releases the air and that barb folds down. So you can pull that quill out of the animal and it, it's less, a lot less painful for the animal. And I know this from experience because Another uncle's dog got into a mess of porcupine quills. Or I came home with a mess of porcupine quills stuck in his face, they were in his mouth, they were all over. And this other uncle, my mother at the time was yanking these things out with pliers, and he said, just cut the ends off. And the dog settled down right after that, so we could pull the Pull the quills out, no problem. Once again, a porcupine quill has a barb on the end of it, just like a fish hook. And it's full of air. And when you cut the end of it, the air escapes and the porcupine quill, or the uh, barb on the quill, folds down. Just a little tip that. I have not seen a video on uh, YouTube or any other social media thing or whatever you want to call it uh, that deals with that. So I thought that'd be a good tip for you, especially since I haven't been doing anything here lately for the last year or so. And I, come to thinking about that, I want to thank you all for the support you've shown me during this past year uh, like I said I've got a few little issues going on nothing serious but just pain in the ass stuff you know we all go through it anyway uh, these are going to get fixed pretty soon so I won't look like I'm 72 so much anymore in the meantime I want to stop and again thank you all for your support your comments 
Even though I'm not doing an awful lot on the channel, I am reading the comments every day, and I appreciate it. We're gathering more subscribers, and uh, I really appreciate that a lot. And I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, what, whatever you celebrate. I hope you have a great season to do that, and I hope you have a great new year. It's got to be better than the last couple of years that we've had, right? 23 wasn't too bad, but 24, we're looking for a real good year. Anyway, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching. I am an old man in the woods. We'll see you next time. Stay safe out there.